Hi, I'm Renetta, and in this video I'm going to show you how to choose a perfect size pencil pleat curtains for your window. Make sure you have a pen and paper to hand so you can write down any measurements as you go. First of all, let's work out our width. Take a metal tape measure and measure the width of your curtain pole. You needn't include the finials if you have them. If you don't have a pole up yet, be sure to check out our videos on how to measure your window. But as a general rule of thumb, we recommend measuring the width of your window and adding 20 centimetres to either side. The width of each curtain panel should be as close as possible to the total width of your pole. For the best coverage and a lovely drape when open, we recommend you round up to the closest possible size when shopping our ready-made curtains. To help you choose, our handy table shows you the size you'll need to look for online or on the packaging in store. So, for example, the pole I've measured here is 160 centimetres, so I've chosen ready-made curtains that are 117 centimetres pack size. Now, let's work out the drop. For pencil pleat curtains, you should always measure from the eye of the curtain ring or from the top of your track. Then, it's just a matter of deciding where you'd like the bottom of your curtains to sit. For above the window sill, measure from the eye of the ring down to the top of the sill. Take one centimetre off this measurement to get the perfect drop. If you'd like your curtains to hang below the sill, we recommend measuring 15 centimetres past the bottom of your sill. For floor length, measure down to the floor. Then take off one centimetre to allow your curtains to hang nice and straight all the way through their length. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Once you've chosen your curtains, be sure to check out our How to Hang Pencil Pleat Curtains video. Thank you for watching.